But, you know, you, you, if we can encourage the people today that's listening, by the way, of TV and radio, to not give up. That's the main yes. thing right there. A lot of times when somebody has an accident or they're hurt, mm -hmm. they just give up. They say, well, what's the use of me getting any treatment? What's the use of me uh, trying to go on? Um, I see two women the other day. They was twin sisters. They was 80 I think 87 years old, and they was down at the Corbin Fitness Center doing Zumba. So yeah, yes. it's a state of mind, not give up. Yes, it is. And, again, we've had patients that are just so motivated mm -hmm. because this is. This is not a permanent placement. It is a temporary stopping point, just right. somewhere to get better so that you can get back home. So the Wonderful. patients who are in there, they really, they want to work hard. They want to work with the therapist so that they can get back home. How does it work with the insurances and things mm -hmm. like that? Well, we are a Medicaid and Medicare certified provider. Okay. So we do accept both Medicare and Medicaid. We accept Medicare replacements. We accept commercial insurance. And again, that's payment shouldn't be a worry for anyone who's looking at a placement in our rehab facility. I can manage all of that. And it's not anything that they would need to call Medicare about or call their insurance about. I manage all aspects of the paperwork and the legwork and, and getting someone there. What if it's like a, a, a situation where a patient doesn't have an insurance. How do you handle that? How do you work on that? There are different options and different ways that we can go about doing that. So we work with people on an individual time basis. Oh, that is so good because, you know, no one should be excluded. I mean, a lot of people think, well, I haven't got Medicaid or I don't have this and that and the other. Um, you shouldn't feel dis excluded because they will work with you. They will help you to get this treatment that you're needing. And what a wonderful facility. I mean, you've got people that's caring for people, uh, people that's encouraging people, people that's really reaching out to each other. It is. And, again, we're, we're all very dedicated to our mission. Mm -hmm. um, we have had many staff members who have recently celebrated their not just 10 or 15 year anniversary but their 20 and 25 year anniversary of employment with our organization. So we, we all want to be there. And, again, we are very dedicated to our mission. Exactly. And through the years, I'm very sure that you've seen many people that's went through the service, went through the facility, and went back to their normal life. Yes, we have. We've had many, many, many success <laughs> stories. And because our, our um, rehab unit is so homelike and because our, our staff are so caring and compassionate, mm -hmm. We have had many patients who have gotten better and went home who still come back to visit because they've developed very strong relationships, friendships even, with the staff. That is so good. And, you know, that should be a, a heartfelt reach out to people today uh, with love, you know, and care. And that's what this facility is all about. You know, if you're hurt today, if you go through some kind of accident, it's wonderful knowing that we've got uh, facilities like this that we can count on. It's going to be yes, there. Is. And again, um, if, if a patient is out there listening right now and yeah. they know they're going to have an elective procedure like maybe a, a knee replacement, a hip replacement, mm -hmm. and anticipate that they're going to need some, some extended recuperation, some therapy, I encourage them to give us a call and I can be working with them ahead of time to make that a smooth transition after they're out of the hospital. If there are patients or families that are listening right now that are in the hospital who have experienced an unexpected accident or an illness and they are now faced with the situation of what do we do now, mm -hmm. then you know they can give me a call. They can have their hospital social worker or discharge planner give me a call. I will come and see them in the hospital, and we will get everything all lined out and make it a smooth transition. Exactly right, because, you know, we've only got a couple of minutes left in the program, but people don't realize when you go through a hip replacement or a knee replacement, your, your body has to learn how to uh, move again because you just don't get up out of bed and say, all right, here I am, you know. <laughs> You've got to go through this traditional, uh, you know, phase of things. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that's why I'm glad that you guys are there. And it's been so good to have you here with the program again today. Let's give them the phone numbers and the location again. Okay. Our Christian Care Campus here in Corbin is at 116 South Commonwealth Avenue, which is right off Master Street, back behind Trademark. 
can't miss us as you're coming down Master Street. Our Christian Care community signs are right out front. Our phone number is 606-258-2500. And you can also reach me directly at 606-521-5192. And again, our website is www.christiancarecommunities.org. Well, Jody, we sure appreciate what you're doing. We appreciate what the facility is doing. It's helping so many people. Uh, we just scratched the surface of all the things they're really doing down there. Go by and take a tour for yourself. Just yes. take a look and see all the wonderful things. Get involved. Support. Volunteer. If you've got some free time. And if you're a young uh, nurse just getting out of uh, school, hey, right here would be a great career for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so join us next week for the local and community issues and answers.